Hey guys, Rich Page, our Gemathan Timber Frame Company, the main timber framer. Today I want to talk a little bit about marking out some girt measurements and brace measurements on, on posts. Uh, if you see the drawing here, this is a drawing of the post. And I don't know if you can see a pencil drawing in here where it's coming off the bottom to the location of the girt over here at 8 feet. So we've got to work with our conventions on our drawing a little bit. But what I want to show you is how to measure, why we measure like we measure, and what it does to ensure accuracy. I'm going to move the camera around a bunch. I uh, hope I don't make you dizzy, but we'll see what we go from there. So looking at this drawing, what you'll see right here is from the bottom beyond my uh, stub tenon, I've got eight feet to the girt. So that's what we want to measure. If you look here, you can also say, well, I can come from the top and I can go four feet. The reality is, is that the measurement is that's important is from your floor where your stub tenon is to the girt needs to be eight feet. So if your post is 12 and a 16th, it's if it's 11 and 15, 16th, if it's just a hair off, you want to make sure that that me measurement from the bottom of your post to the top of that girt, eight feet, which is your headroom clearance, is correct. So in this case, you want to be measuring from the bottom of your post to identify where you're going to put your mortise in for your girt. I'm going to move over and I'm going to show you uh, a little bit about measuring the girt. So I'm going to back up a little bit here and see if I can't give you a view. I've got all four posts in the shop. And so this is for um, the front of the post on the right side. And you'll see some measurements identified on the stub uh, front. One right, two right, three right, four right. I like to put these together in this orientation so when I do go to put my mortises in that I can see that this mortise will connect to this girt in this location. If you look up top here, you'll see I've already got some uh, Arunda mortising done so you'll see that this mortise here will match up with this mortise here. You'll see up on top here the rafters are going to come in and they're all, the good news is they're all heading in the right direction. So those are some of the things you want to think about when you're cutting your post is keeping the orientation correct so that when you do go to do your mortise and tenons, you don't have a mortise or a tenon uh, in the wrong location on the wrong side. So that's something that's pretty important. So making four, I like to lay out all four and that way you can say or you can easily see that your connections are gonna match up and they're in the right spot. I'm gonna come down here, stretch out the camera a little bit and show you a little bit about marking out uh, one of these um, mortise locations. All right, so here we go. I think we can get up here and see this. All right, I got my tape measure here. Move that out of the way. Okay, so if you can see, I'm gonna to have to pick it up and show you. So I've got a mortise marked out. I've got 14 inch girts, they're eight by uh, 14 carrying girts spanning 20 feet, so it's pretty stout. Uh, and what you'll see is it's a two inch mortise, it's three and five eighths deep, it's a 14 inch girt, so this measurement here needs to be 14. I like to write that on where I'm going to mortise out so there's no misunderstanding what's supposed to be there when you start going at it with a mortiser. And then back here, two feet away, you're going to see that I've got the brace marked out. What I want to show you real quick also is an easy way to measure these things. So I'm going to come off the bottom with the tape and I'm going to measure to the eight foot mark. When I get to the eight foot mark, you're gonna see this is my mark right here. And I'm gonna talk about this little mark in just a minute. But there's my mark, come off here with my square, line it up. If you'll notice over here, see right there, I've got a little mark. Okay, so I know this is a two inch. We're gonna say this, is, this one after being planed is a hair less than 10, but I've got it marked out. Now the good, the good thing is, or the cool part about this square is, from this mark here, Okay, now I need 14 inches. Watch this. See how I'm graduating? Look at that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to slide that baby all the way up to 14. So it's kind of like using a scale. Right there's 14. And wouldn't you know, that's the top of my mortar. So if you're not using your square like this with a mark on the edge, that's an easy way to make sure that you're going to get your right length. So that's a little tip is put the mark over here and then from there just slide your square along there. One of the, one of the fallbacks on this and one of the mistakes that some people make is, is that they may mark 
up on top of the square, which would add an inch and a half. So be cautious that this scale here, 14, is on the inside. And so when you, when you go to your 14 inches down here, 14 inches, that you're on your top, of your, mort your top of your mortise mark, and you didn't mark it an inch and a half off on the top of your scale. But that's an easy way, sliding that up and down. It's kind of like using a, uh, uh, a, sli a sliding square or even a, almost like a digital micrometer or something. Kind of cool. So there's your 14 inches. Now, when you go to do your brace, you're going to put your square here. You're going to line it up on your edge. And when you make your brace, I know my braces are 24 inches away. So wouldn't you know, here's 24 inches. And at 24 inches, I've got my little mark right here. So now, I'm going to mark the bottom of my mortise here, and I'm going to slide my scale up. I know that it's, it's a 5-inch brace, so it's going to be 7 and an eighth. I'm going to slide my rule right up to 7 and an eighth, and wouldn't you know, we're right at the top of the mortise. So that's an easy way to mark your uh, mortises and getting them right. One of the things I want to talk about, too, coming back here a little bit, is the, uh, the placement of your tape. You know, you're going you're to say a lot of people, well, you've got to put your tape on the edge. And what they're concerned about putting it on the edge is, and I know everybody's particular, I'm particular as well, but the reality is when you make some of these cuts, let me come over here and I'll give you an example. This cut, if you look at this, this is about a 16th inch off here. If I put the tape here, my mortise up above is going to be about a 16th off. So I'll usually come in a little bit, and yes, I have to, eyeball it and make sure I'm straight, I'm not measuring a hypotenuse, but that way I'm at eight feet from the main carrying surf, the main surface area of this brace, and I didn't come in and make it a 16th inch uh, high on the other end. So I hope that tip helps you out. That's what I do. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to send me a note. Thanks for watching. Quick, light, quick click like below. Thanks a lot.